North Dakota horizons. There is something about looking at a North Dakota horizon, at least for me, I get a sense of peace, tranquility, optimism, hope for a better day. Hi, I'm Wild Bill. This is Western Edge Living presented by CHI, San Alexius Health Dickinson. And we're gonna tell you more about North Dakota horizons coming up in just a moment. I wanna remind you too that I'm also the media director at the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame in historic Medora. And we have adjusted to fall hours. We are open 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. We are closed on Mondays. There's still plenty of time for you to come to Historic Medora and visit us at the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame, as those hours will remain until Medora's old fashioned cowboy Christmas, which is in December. The museum curator there is Tess Howie. She and I have begun a brand new podcast. It's called A Legacy of the Plains a podcast from the Center of Western Heritage and Cultures at the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. We talk to authors, we talk to artists, we talk to anybody associated with the museum at the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. It's a bi-monthly podcast, and you can find out more about how to subscribe and other details about the show on our Facebook page. And you can also go to NorthDakotaCowboy.org and find out more and find out about all the great events that we've got coming up yet this fall. Just click on our events page. North Dakota Horizons Magazine. I've been waiting for that near my mailbox just about as long as I've been looking at a North Dakota Horizon. And recently, they've really shifted gears. They've got a brand new lease on life. They had announced that they were gonna dis discontinue publishing North Dakota Horizons magazine, but you, the viewers and readers, wouldn't have it. And they are back, bigger and better than ever. And we have the editors of North Dakota Horizons magazine, Annie Bennett and Kylie Blanchard on the program today. We're gonna to talk about the history of that great publication, the optimism that they share with Western Edge Living, and much, much more. It's a great story, and uh, we're gonna end it with uh, something kind of special the Ukrainian National Anthem as it was recorded live at the Pioneer Cross north of Belfield. The Pioneer Cross is kind of what brought North Dakota Horizons on our radar, and that is another great story. I got goosebumps just thinking about it. So it's gonna be a great episode. I hope you can stick around. Meanwhile, call up the neighbors and tell them to turn on the TV because Western Edge Living presented by CHI, San Alexius Health Dickinson, starts now. CHI, San Alexius Health Dickinson presents Western Edge Living. I had um, an episode with uh, cancer. When I hit that five-year mark, my doctor at um, Cancer Treatment Center of America outside of Chicago suggested to me that my provider in Dickinson at my hospital, you know, do the tests that they would do at Zion. So within um, less than two days, I had both my tests taken and results and um, I was able to stay in Dickinson and not have to travel all those miles. I just feel the fact that they work so closely together um, in making sure that those tests were taken and that my overall health was, was first and foremost in both those minds, whether it was at CTCA, at Zion, or my hospital right here. So I'm just so grateful for that. Medora Boot and Western Wear in the heart of historic Medora. Open 10 to 5 every day, but close Tuesdays. Boot is their middle name, and they have over 1,500 pairs of boots in stock for all ages and sizes. They also have the all-new Hire Boot with many new styles, Western clothes, belts, caps, hats, and more, including a great line of toys and Longhorn wall decor. Medora Boot and Western Wear for the cowboy and cowgirl in you. Medora Boot and Western Wear. At Poncheros, we put a lot of work into building every burrito to last for about 10 minutes. Poncheros, come build your better. 
At Ponchero's, every tortilla starts as a small ball of dough. Then it's fresh pressed to perfection. That's just how we dough it. Poncheros. Come build your better. Wise men say only fools rush in. But I can't help falling in love with you. And welcome back to Western Edge Living, presented by CHI St. Alexius Health Dickinson. A few episodes back, you saw we were at the Pioneer Cross, and uh, that's what led us to today's guest. We um, found an article in North Dakota Horizons magazine from 1978 that said a lot about the Pioneer Cross and Ukrainians in North Dakota, and this being the anniversary of the uh, rededication of the cross and uh, and also the Ukrainian's arrival in North Dakota, uh, that article really caught our eye. And we set up a display at Southwest Art Gallery and Science Center, and uh, we wanted to use an article out of ND Horizons Magazine, North Dakota Horizons Magazine. I'm sure you're familiar with that. I've been looking at that magazine. It was, it was such excitement when that, that would in, be in the mailbox uh, each week. But we needed permission from the editors of that magazine in order to uh, use it in our display, which led me to today's guest, Annie Bennett, one of the editors of Hi, North Dakota you. Horizons Magazine. Welcome. Thank you. And this is Kylie, Kylie, Kylie Blanchard, the other editor. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Nice little drive to Dickinson from Bismarck <laughs> yeah, today, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. What's your background, Annie? Um, where did you go to school? Where did you grow up? And what led you to uh, your your position with North Dakota Horizons? Um, so I was born and raised in Bismarck. Went to Bismarck High School. Um, I then went to NDSU for four years and graduated with business and administration and concentration in marketing. Okay. Um, and then my husband actually um, got into vet school in Glasgow, Scotland. So I lived there for five years and did marketing and events. Um, and then when I came back, um, Kylie had mentioned that there was an opening at the at Clear Water Communications, who is the publisher of North Dakota Horizons. And so I applied there and um, I've never left. And you mentioned earlier before we went on the air that you two have been acquaintances, friends for 25 years. Mm -hmm. At what point, Kylie, did you cross paths with Annie? So we were both counselors at Triangle Y Camp near Garrison on Lake Sakakawea. So we met when we were 15, uh, working as summer camp counselors and have just stayed friends and our lives have just kind of crossed many okay. times. Yeah, <laughs> and um, two editors at one magazine. Um, do you have a journalistic background as well? So my background is in English with an emphasis in technical writing, so mm -hmm. business writing. And when I started working at Clearwater Communications, um, North Dakota Horizons was one of my first assignments was to write an article. And I kind of just, you know, fell in love with the journalistic style and have kind of gone a little more on that path than, than the business writing. Okay. What a wonderful magazine. I mean, my Thank goodness. You. And I'm not kidding. I remember, you know, being a youngster and whenever North Dakota Horizons was in the mailbox, you had to sit down and look through it. It's not only great writing, but wonderful pictures. And it, uh, you know, we try to keep this, this program um, optimistic and upbeat, and that's exactly what mm -hmm. your magazine is all about. Is that kind of the uh, the uh, mantra that you follow, uh, yep. Annie? Yep. We um, pride ourselves on publishing everything wonderful about North Dakota. Mm -hmm. People, places, events, food, marketing, or history, um, anything that's wonderful about North Dakota, we don't want to do anything controversial. Yeah. And even your uh, the, the ad advertisements that you have, your sponsors mm -hmm. in your magazine, it's almost like a trip to uh, um, uh, the um, North Dakota Products uh, Convention, sure. you know? Yeah. Uh, you've got a lot of great advertisers in your, in your magazine as well. Yeah, we do. And for our fall issue, we um, partner with the Pride of Dakota program mm -hmm. to, you know, highlight some of those uh, you know some of their members and I think what what we really want to do with the magazine is to really just show like North Dakota is 
you know, this great place to live, to work, to do business. And it's, it's really a state that is, you know, expanding and growing and um, has these great businesses and these great stories. Tell us about your contributors. I know I read a story about a young lady who uh, forgot to shut the bathtub water off and it flooded her house. What a great article. Oh. Um, it was, that was an interesting, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. interesting story she told. But tell us more about <laughs> yeah. uh, the article about the uh, bathtub and the water. Rachel, a young yes. lady named Rachel, Rachel wrote that. Rachel from North Dakota. Yeah, yeah. she's um, born and raised in, um, in western North Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, she's fantastic. She's got four kids. Um, and she is always ready. And a very her. understanding husband. And very yes. understanding husband. And she's always got some, you know, fun story about what's happening that's, you know, just seems to be relatable to our readers. Yeah. So everything from a bathtub overflowing to a young child with spaghetti on her head. I tell you, it's a, it's a very light, upbeat look at the state of North yes. Dakota. Yes. And uh, it's very positive. And uh, like you said, that's what you strive for. Yes. What are some of your favorite articles that... Uh, that have uh, appeared since your tenure as a as yeah. an editor. So, um, actually, one of my very favorite stories was just in the summer issue, um, or just our um, past issue, and it was on Katie Ledecky. Mm -hmm. um, so, Katie Ledecky's family is originally from Williston, North Dakota. So, her grandfather, um, Dr. Hagen, was um, vital in creating the outdoor swimming pool in Williston. Uh, or the first, sorry, the first indoor swimming pool in Williston, mm -hmm. which led to starting a swim team there. Um, so he actually um, had a daughter who almost drowned, but also being a physician in the area saw, you know, the importance of both exercise and learning how to swim. So he was helping um, get that swimming pool set up. And then his daughter, Mary Jen, um, was a swimmer. Um, and then, you know, she went to college, was a swimmer. and and ended up having two kids, Michael and Katie, and got them involved in swimming right away. And so it was really great to see how North Dakota has developed, you know, some of these really fantastic people and where they come from. And um, Katie and Mary Jen are both very proud of North Dakota. And, and um, they were actually just back for a book signing here in August. Oh, wonderful. Katie had a book sign come out. So they were just such a humble and, and great family. And, you know, watching them and the Katie in the Olympics, you know, it's just a great example of Mm -hmm. of North Dakota and, and the people that come from here and how they're still proud to be from here. A lot of moving parts to a, a magazine. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different things that are involved. Uh, you know, you've got to keep the lights on. You know, the, you've got to have your advertisers and things. What about circulation? Um, how do you uh, promote your, uh, your, your magazine? Yeah, we've, so we've been working really hard over the past year to promote our magazine. Um, we will... Uh, go to different shows. We've been part of the, the Pride of Dakota um, showcases in Bismarck, and um, we're always looking for advertisers. We're kind of working on building up some partnerships um, just, you know, to promote, to promote the magazine, but also to promote the state. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you, we want it to be one of the first things people see when they come to the state and see how great North Dakota is. You know, when I was doing the research to uh, to find you mm -hmm. to uh, get the uh, permission to use mm -hmm. the article that we did, uh, I noticed that uh, there was a somebody had posted uh, something about. Uh, well, this is our final episode. This is our our final issue. Mm -hmm. uh, but that wasn't going to be. That wasn't going to happen. Tell that story, Annie. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, we had some declining um, circulation numbers. Um, you know, and. Um, we announced at the beginning of 2023 that that would be our final year, mm -hmm. um, but we had a huge outpouring of, of letters and phone calls and emails of people who love our magazine and have been reading it for years. Um, and so um, with that and some additional funding, we're able to keep going okay. and still publish everything wonderful about North oh, Dakota. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. I think uh, maybe some divine intervention probably yes, uh, yeah, took 100%. place there. Yeah. What is the one story that you haven't gotten yet that you're just uh, dying to uh, put in your magazine? Is there something that uh, you're just uh, you can't wait to cover? Oh gosh, there's so many things, and <laughs> mm -hmm. and we have a we actually have a running list in our office. Oh really? Of all different signs, st um, story ideas that we want to publish. So mm -hmm. I don't even know where to begin answering that question. There's just so many wonderful things in North Dakota that we would love to highlight. There's probably a story out there that you don't even know exists right yeah. now, right? It's kind of a, uh, it takes on a life of its own, doesn't it? 
Yeah, and we do get a lot of great stories from people reaching out to us to mm -hmm. say, hey, this is happening in my hometown or this happened where I grew up. And I mean, it's just cool the the things that are out there, the hidden gems, the the history, the the stories that people will share with us and we get to dive into them. What do you know about the history of your magazine? I'm going to go out on a limb here. You know, the our, the issue that I have in my hands now uh, came out in the spring of 1978. I'm kind of thinking that was before your time. It was <laughs> before <laughs> our time. <laughs> yes. So uh, what do you know about uh, the past of uh, North Dakota Horizons yeah. magazine, the roots? How did it all get started? So it started in 1971 okay. by the Greater North Dakota Chamber. Um, you know, just publishing everything wonderful about North Dakota, um, and they had been doing that for years. And then the company that we work for, Clearwater Communications, started um, publishing it with them in the early 2000s. And then in 2013, um, Clearwater Communications purchased the rights for the magazine and have been publishing it ever since. Okay. Do you feel that you've got a lot of momentum going, Kylie? Do you feel like you're you're in a good place right now and you're, you just can't wait to get to work and see what kind of voicemails and emails you got to, about the next big story for North Dakota? Is that uh, how I, you roll? I do. I think, you know, after we had that initial announcement that we were going to be done and the feedback we got from people I think people really have kind of come behind the magazine and they've enjoyed our refreshed look and the stories that we're doing um, I, I'm always excited to put out a new issue and hear the feedback from yeah. people yeah and you know your stories uh, human interest stories you talk about current events and things but you also pay particular attention to history am I correct yes, yes. Okay, and we're going to talk about that history when we come back to Western Edge Living, presented by CHI St. Alexius Health Dickinson, as we visit with the editors of North Dakota Horizons Magazine. You know I got two home runs. Right? You got two jets. And then my grand slam, uh, I signed the ball for you. Okay. And it says, Papa, I love you. Why did you do that? Because you've taught me everything about baseball. <laughs> I'm so sweet. Service Pro Express Lube, now open on East Villar Dickinson. Gets your vehicle service quickly and you're back on the road in no time. No appointment required. You don't even get out of your vehicle. They utilize Service Pro Oil, the only oil produced and refined in the U.S. and it meets or exceeds vehicle manufacturer requirements. Plus, they top off all fluids and perform multi-point inspections. It's part of what's offered at Service Pro Express Lube. Students looking for a part-time gig? Inquire at Service Pro Express Lube. Ask about the scholarship incentive program. Service Pro Express Lube, East Villar Dickinson, next to Lucky's. IT problems have you down and you need to get back up and running? Then call the IT techs at Consolidated. Here's what our customers are saying. Josh called moments after I sent my ticket in and resolved the issue in about 30 seconds after logging onto my computer. Very friendly and professional. Thank you. Eric responded to our request very quickly and resolved the issue for us right away. Great service from Brandon as always. Amazing and helpful as always. Let us help you with your IT issues. Call Consolidated Business Solutions 483-4000 today. And we are back to Western Edge Living, presented by CHI St. Alexius Health Dickinson. There's a lot of things you could be doing right now, but look at you. You're watching our program. Thank you. Thank you. I owe you an ice cream cone, so next time I see you, hit me up for that. Uh, maybe I owe you two an ice cream cone, too, for driving to Dickinson to, to join us on the program. It's Annie Bennett and Kylie Blanchard, the uh, two editors of North Dakota Horizons magazine. Um, are you a history buff, Annie? You know, that is actually Kylie's forte. Oh, okay. Yes. What is it about history that uh, grasps your attention? Well, I just think it's it's important to know where we came from mm -hmm. and to how we got to where we are today. And I think North Dakota has a, a really rich history, and I think there are so many stories that are untold and that are out there waiting to be told. Mm -hmm. And so I, I really enjoy the history side of, of the articles in North Dakota Horizon. 
great. We're going to have to have you uh, come to the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. We've got a whole museum full of history that I think you'd find very yeah. interesting. What are some of the historical things that you've uh, discovered uh, through your work with uh, writing articles for the North Dakota Horizons magazine that grasped your attention the most? Well, I think, you know, we've we've just had really great stories on some of our state historical sites mm -hmm. um you know i didn't i didn't know the the full background on a lot of them um until writing stories on them uh one of my favorite articles is um a gentleman by the name of tom Askim, and he actually digs up um uh outhouse pits oh. and digs and from like the 1800s and oh my. behind old hotels and that kind of stuff uh -huh. and finds these incredible pieces of history that would otherwise go undiscovered and so it was you know just it's very interesting yeah yeah it's the history aspect that led you to to my office and to mm -hmm. uh this tv show uh in 1978 you had a contributing uh, um um story submitted by Delia Halverson, who uh, was living in Watford City at the time, and she uh, wrote articles for the Williston Herald. Anyway, she wrote an article that came out in your spring 1978 mm -hmm. edition. Um, um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful article called A Heritage Reborn, and it talks about the Ukrainians uh, coming to North Dakota. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, you know, there was an event in 1974 that she featured the photographs of that event where we, you know, pr had uh, the bishop and several priests came. Uh, there were Ukrainian dancers that came to the Pioneer Cross, and uh, uh, she wrote an article on that. And uh, just this last week, we uh, recreated, uh, mm -hmm. not intentionally, wow. it just happened. And as a journalist, you can understand my excitement yes. about this. You know, 100%. my mother was very instrumental in uh, helping establish that Pioneer yes. Cross and, and promoting uh, Ukrainian history and culture in North Dakota. And uh, so for, you know, that, her to write that article, you to give me permission, mm -hmm. and then we recreated that uh, with uh, the Ukrainian Bandurist chorus. Um, wow, I just, uh, I'm just uh, kind of excited about <laughs> yeah, that if you can't it's tell. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, no, it's wonderful. That's the great thing about Horizons is, you know, getting those kinds of stories, you know, documented because they live on forever. Yes, this is what mm -hmm. your magazine did. It brought yes. us together. It yep. brought this story together. And it uh, brought the whole, uh, the whole uh, story about the uh, Pioneer Cross uh, together. Uh, before we, uh, before we uh, you know, uh, dismiss you for today, class, <laughs> uh, before we let you go, um, how do we uh, go about uh, finding out more about your magazine and, uh, and possibly subscribing to yeah, it? Yeah, we have a, a new website, www.ndhorizons.com. Okay. You can go on there and subscribe. Um, or we also have a Facebook page, at North Dakota Horizons Facebook page, mm -hmm. that we're pretty active on, so you can always message us on that. Or you can give us a call, 701-355-4458, to subscribe. Any questions that I haven't asked that uh, you think our viewers should know about uh, you two or uh, North Dakota Horizons Magazine, Kylie? Hmm. I think just that we we really do cater to all ages. Mm -hmm. I think at you know at sometimes people think it might be catered more to an older an older generation, but we really work hard to kind of focus on things that will will be interesting to all ages and to you know, all generations in North Dakota. Okay. I will tell you that Delia Halverson, who wrote the article, A Heritage mm -hmm. Reborn, uh, about the Pioneer Cross and the Ukrainians in North Dakota, she passed away uh, mm -hmm. not long ago. But I did uh, get in touch with her son, who is, uh, who is um, living in Watford with his mom at the time and, and remembers the story well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, thanks you for uh, allowing oh, us wonderful. to uh, promote his mother's article and mm -hmm. things. And yes, thank you for allowing us to use that Absolutely. for the display at the Southwest Art Gallery and Science Center. So yes. we thank you. Oh. Annie Bennett and Kylie Blanchard, the editors, at North Dakota Horizons Magazine have been our guest today, and I can't thank you two ladies enough. Thanks for having us. Yes. You bet, thank and you. let's uh, continue the conversation going Absolutely. forward. Yes. yes, this won't be our only visit. We look forward to seeing you again. So yes. as we end the show today, 
we uh, bring you the Ukrainian National Anthem. This is in honor of Delia Halverson, whose article brought Annie and Kali to our program today. We do this in her honor. We do this in honor of North Dakota Horizons magazine and uh, all the Ukrainian people of North Dakota. This is for you, the Ukrainian Bandurist Chorus and the Ukrainian National Anthem. Here on Western Edge Living, presented by CHI, St. Alexius Health Dickinson. <laughs> Thank you for watching Western Edge Living, presented by CHI St. Alexius Health Dickinson. I had um an episode with uh, cancer. When I hit that five-year mark, my doctor at um, Cancer Treatment Center of America outside of Chicago suggested to me that my provider in Dickinson at my hospital, you know, do the tests that they would do at Zion. So within um, less than two days, I had both my tests taken and results, and um, I was able to stay in Dickinson and not have to travel all those miles. I just feel the fact that they work so closely together um, in making sure that those tests were taken and that my overall health was, was first and foremost in both those minds, whether it was at CTCA, at Zion, or my hospital right here. So I'm just so grateful for that. Here's your Lotus Energy drink. Thanks so much. Can I pay my consolidated bill online? We have an app for that. Can I get a text on my phone when my bill is due? We have an app for that. Download the consolidated My Account app today and take control of your account with useful features like viewing or paying your bill right on your phone. Never miss a payment again with the consolidated My Account app. Available free at the App Store or Google Play.
download the Consolidated My TV app, available now at Google Play or the App Store.